Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and in today's video, I am doing the next video in my How to Plan series. This series, I focus on different areas of your life that you might be planning for, and I show you how I would plan for it in a, in a paper planner. So we've done fitness, wellness, budget, meal planning, habit tracking, student, teacher, faith. We've done all kinds of Video. So if you want to check this series out, I have a playlist on my channel with all the videos in one spot. But today we are going to talk about recipe planning, how to recipe plan. The first thing you need for recipe planning is a recipe planner, although you do not have to have a separate planner. The Happy Planner does sell um, like add-on packages of these recipe pages that you could purchase and just add into your planner. Um, I love using a disc bound recipe planner because you can easily take the pages out when you're making the recipe and then pop it back in when you're done. You can easily take it out and scan it if someone wants the recipe. I love it so much. I got my mother-in-law one of these for Christmas one year and she has been adding all of her recipes and plus it's just fun to decorate. I think it's gonna, it could turn into like a family heirloom where someday someone is gonna have Heather Kells decorated recipe planner. Maybe it'll be my kids if I, if we have kids someday or my niece. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of what I've made or what I've done in my recipe planner so far. So mine is a couple of years old, this particular one. Um, so it, the layout might look a little bit different now because mine is, mine is from when they first came out and you can kind of see like that these are from a while ago when I used to use a lot of washi. My handwriting has changed a lot. I used to washi the crap out of stuff. And so you see that in these pages. But in this first section is family favorites. And so I basically went through and wrote some of our family favorites. You can see some of them got like, th this is a well-loved planner. I use it. You can see it like dripped and smeared. So I probably need to rewrite that one and this one because this one's really good. Um, so I may need to redo those, but those are some of our family favorites. Then we have main dishes. These are recipes that Matthew and I really like for dinner. Once we find something that we like for dinner, I try to add it to this recipe book so that I have it in here. Um, so I have several different recipes written in here. And then these are slow cooker recipes that you could do in the crock pot. Some of the ones that we love. And some of them aren't decorated. Like some of them you can see I did a lot of decorating, but like these, I just wrote the recipe. Sometimes you just need to get something on the page. You don't have to decorate it. You can just write. Um, this is what I call entertaining. So more like when you have people over kind of finger foods type stuff. So, um, and I obviously only have one, one of those. The great thing is because it's a disbound system, if you have all of these pages, and you don't need them in this section. You can take them out and put them in a different section. But they are color coded to match the section in this planner. Like blue goes with blue. But if you, if that doesn't matter to you, then you could take it out. It looks like I had a recipe hidden in here. This is my crock pot hot chocolate. This is delicious. You need to screenshot that if you love hot chocolate because it is so good at Christmas time. Um. So then we have healthy recipes. I don't have any. <laughs> Quick and easy, these are ones that are super fast. Oh, I love this fruit dip. It is so good to eat with fruit. These Instant Pot Ribs are one of our favorites. Then we have desserts. I, my, I feel like my dessert section is like almost full and we're actually gonna be adding a dessert recipe today in this video. But these are like the best cookies. Um, this banana pudding, like we're gonna exit out because I have a new banana pudding that we're actually gonna do today. And it's so much better than this. So ignore this banana pudding. But these sugar cookies, these are delicious. You should screenshot that. This pumpkin bread is really good. Oh my gosh, this mousse pie. My mother-in-law makes it. It's so good. I've never made it, but I asked for the recipe so that I have it. I asked her to make it like every year on my birthday. Um, the, this is a recipe my mom used to make. Oh my God, it's so good. These cookies here, it took me 10 years to figure out how to make these. These were my mom's cookies and I, my mom never wrote recipes down. So I could never figure out how to make it. And I finally did. So I wrote it down so that I would have it. Um, and then these are just different recipes that I've added in here as well. These pumpkin muffins are delicious. These homemade Reese cups are one of my favorites. All right. So today we're going to use this page because I have something on this side, but not on this side. I don't know why I didn't put this here. So we are going to talk about how to fill in 
the memory planner. There are or the recipe planner. There are a couple of sticker books you can use. Recipe, food, food. These are two different food recipes. This food book has more stickers of like the actual food, and this has stickers of actual food, but it also has like meal planning stickers and grocery shopping stickers. This one has functional, this one has more functional stickers than this one. Now, I really want some bananas. Yes, this book has bananas. Sweet. There we go. Bananas, because we are going to do this, y'all, this recipe I'm going to show y'all today is legit like the best banana pudding. And you can easily change it up. Um, to do other flavors besides banana pudding and it's still just as good. Okay, I really wish, I wanna do black and yellow. So I'm kind of like, let's see here. We are gonna, this is Paula Deen's banana pudding by the way. So if you want to look it up and you don't wanna watch me write it in, um, then you can just go to Pinterest and search Paula Deen. It's so good, y'all. You'll never eat another banana pudding again. All right. So I put the recipe up there, and then I'm just going to take some bananas. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay some bananas in a few places. And the reason I wanna go ahead and do it is then I can make sure that my writing goes around the bananas. Now, this is definitely not a healthy recipe. So I'm, I'm forewarning you right now. Don't come at me in the comments if you're like, oh my gosh, this is so fattening. Yeah, it's banana pudding. All right, so I like to write the recipe and then I like to put one ingredient on each line. So you might wanna like count your ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has seven ingredients. Make sure you have enough lines because if not, you would need to write two on a line. So we have one 12 ounce Cool Whip. Thawed, one 14 ounce sweetened condensed milk, one 8 ounce cream cheese softened. Y'all, that cream cheese and that condensed milk, I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. Two cups milk. One 5.1 ounce French vanilla pudding. You can use regular vanilla too. I went to the store last time and I couldn't find French vanilla, so I just got vanilla and it, it tasted fine. Six to eight sliced bananas and two bags of chessmen cookies. And these are from the Pepperidge Farm brand. I don't know if there's an off brand. Okay, those are the ingredients. Then I might flip through this book just to see maybe this book. So like here we have like these yellow arrows. This could be cute to list or I could use these. I could take this really cute little sticker and I could put it here. How 
all to make. Line the bottom. I won't read it to you as I write because y'all might be like, okay, Heather, we can read. But basically the first step is you line your baking dish um, with the cookies and then you add a layer of bananas. Okay. Then I can take another one to note the next step. And I'm going to switch the colors. That way the steps kind of pop a little bit more. Um, and you can see that it's a different step. So combine cream, cheese, and sweetened All right, so basically I'm gonna go in and write all the directions. I can speed this part up so that y'all aren't just like super bored with me writing the steps. And then I will come back to show you how I do the other side. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote out the rest of the directions. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how I fill in this side. So it serves like, I don't honestly don't know the exact number it serves a lot I would say it has 12 to 15 servings so we'll put 12 to 15 main ingredients bananas pudding cookies difficulty I think this I how difficult is it to make I say it's pretty easy, so I'm going to do two stars. Prep time, um, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. It's really not that long. You can make it pretty quickly. Um, here it says cook time. I'm going to put chill overnight. It's always best if you let it chill overnight. Your temperature, there is none because you don't bake it. And then here, I like to add other notes that tie in to the recipe. So I could put a little bullet point here. If you love Cool Whip, we always we love Cool Whip here in the Cal household. So we always put the recipe says to pour the mixture over the cookies and bananas and then cover with remaining cookies. We actually love to put a layer of Cool Whip on top of the pudding and then put the cookies on top because we love Cool Whip around here. Um, but it's totally up to you. You don't have to do that when that one's not in the recipe. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna need to get two of the Cool Whips instead of just one. Okay, and then if you're watching this and you're like, I don't really like bananas, my sister's the same way. She doesn't like fruit in her dessert. But if you swap the vanilla pudding for chocolate, trade for Oreo cookies take out bananas. So another idea I could put, change it up.
you change it's the same recipe but don't put the bananas in or you could if you like oreo bananas don't put the bananas in instead of vanilla pudding use chocolate and instead of chessman cookies use oreos and y'all it is like the best oreo dessert ever it is so so good um i don't know what you would serve this with i don't know i always think of like dessert for like a barbecue meal always makes me think i don't know rating i'm telling y'all this is a five star banana pudding you will and you, some of you might be watching this like mm, you don't put cream cheese in condensed milk in your banana pudding you do you do just try it y'all i'm would I, steer, would I steer you wrong? No, I would not. So that's pretty much all you have to do to recipe plan. Um, and the great thing about it is you now have them all in this one little recipe book. You can pull the pages in and out when you're cooking so that your whole book isn't on the counter. Um, you can add, take away, share, easily pull this out and give it to someone else. I don't know. I love it. I love recipe planning. Um, I will try to link the recipe if they still have these. I'm pretty sure the Happy Planner still has these. I will try to link them in the description so that you can see what where to get yours. But y'all, make this pudding. You will thank me. You can tag me on Instagram to show me how delicious it is. We had it last week. It's so, so good. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And happy planning.